Raiders on a Friday night at I-75. It's Brandon Overton winning. Hey, race fans. This is Chet Christner here with another Comp Cam's Top Moments on Flow Racing. Back down sunny side up, but not great. In at number five. Now down the back straight away as we take it two by two behind your race leader. Good action here for spots two, three, four. Oh, look out. Oh, red flag, red flag, one upside down. He'll finish up sunny side up, but we'll go red flag condition on the speedway. As we have got one up and over Austin stand there. Big wobble on the front row. You would think the outside is the hard way around here, but it's the rocket man, Ryan Newman, who takes the lead. And number four. Newman trying to get by him, and he's not afraid to go to the outside. Newman so strong. You would think the outside is the hard way around here, but it's the rocket man, Ryan Newman, who takes the lead on lap 71 of the Carmel 99. Blue, it tries to roll in there, get back to onto the bottom. Not going to be able to do it. Ryan Newman, the Rocket Man, wins his first in Smart Modified Tour competition. Joking afterwards, talking to Chris Williams, we need to get this Hoosier collar shortened up a little bit. It's like a choker on us, especially Jimmy and I. So just, uh, you know, again, happy to be a part of it. And he, he was a class act today and fun to, fun to race with him. Got a good one here at the Jackson County Fairgrounds of Makoka to Iowa. Pierce with a run back down to the inside. RTJ able to stay out front. Here's your number three. Thornton bobbles a little bit on the bottom as he hits the holes. Here comes Bobby Pierce off into turns one and two. Possible slider for the lead. It is a slider for the lead. You got a new leader, Bobby Pierce, but here comes Thornton back to the inside. Wow, nice job by both those drivers there as they were able to complete clean sliders on each other as two of the top drivers in the country going at it here at Makoka to Speedway. 11 laps in the books. Bobby Pierce back out front. RTJ going to cross it back over. And Pierce has got a line down in one and two. Can't quite get the drive off of two that he needs. So they head through turns three and four for the final time. The winner of your inaugural Rio Grande Waste Services 50-50 is Ricky Thornton Jr. He's up and out of the car. We're gonna hear you, Ricky Thornton Jr. But watch Monsignore, plants it in at a ton. Ronnie Silk does the same thing. Who gets the bite? Coming in at number two. Here comes Monsignore, tries to make the slingshot to the inside. Monsignore, side by side with Ron Silk, they come off the turn down to the line. Monsignor working his magic at the stripe. One lap to go. This isn't over yet. It's Justin Monsignor muscling his way to the bottom in turn two. Silk is right there as they come off turn number two. They come together on the back straightaway. Silk battling to the outside. Monsignor to the bottom. They'll come to the checkered flag this time. Out in front. Monsignor noses out in front. But here comes Silk to the outside, and Monsignor will win it. Monsignor will win it. The margin of victory was so close, it's almost unbelievable. For $10,000 on a Friday night at I-75, it's Brandon Overton winning! And now for your Cop Cam's top moment. Here comes the battle for the lead behind him. Overton's gonna get a big run. Oh, and Dyer slows up in three. McDowell comes high. Here comes Brandon Overton, nose to tail last lap. Down into one and two. Where will they go? It's Overton to the inside, McDowell to the outside, side by side off a turn two, a half a lap to go. It's Overton, it's McDowell. For $10,000 on a Friday night at I-75, it's Brandon Overton winning. Holy cow on a last lap pass, big sexy, slips by Dale McDowell.